Hey guys, I'm a gamer and welcome back to another video of Mod Madness. Now this mod, the mod that you're gonna watch me play, I'm gonna let you know that this is my favorite mod ever. I have all mods so far. The soft mod. So let's let's go for it, right? Warning, this mod handles topics that may find may that some may find triggering. It is possible to play the mod safely by pressing shift to skip dialogue. Triggers may include implied domestic abuse, physical signs of domestic abuse, PTSD, mentions of Pico School. If you are a victim of domestic violence, remember that you aren't alone. Enjoy the story. I did play this one before, and um, our main goal is just to get past week 5, cause, I mean, yeah, week 5. Gameplay. Alright, let's go. Story mode. Actually, vibing or something. I don't know if vibing is a word. The city of, of stars. Place where the celebrities and rich live lavishly. And the not so fortunate struggle to thrive day by day. Two boys ha who have been on the run for two weeks are spotted gashing into an alleyway as the sun begins to set over the skyline. A high school dropout and notorious graffiti artist named Pico. And BF, a blue haired boy on the somewhat short side with aspirations of becoming a painter. The two come to a halt visibly out of breath. Another close call. Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. This is the third time this week we've almost been caught. I, I know. With them plastering your face all over time, it's inevitable that someone will eventually find us. Both know how they settle things. I need to prepare for it. I told you running away wasn't a good idea. I can't do this. What if BF? When he Baby Blue, you worry too much. I'm gonna get back every step of the way. How about we do a practice round? Repeat after me. Alright? Three, two, one, go! Baby, go, go, go. So far, you're so good. Nice. How was that? It did great. I need to keep it. Really? 
Mm -hmm. So, let's probably get move on or Hold up. Hey, Yeti. Can you, can you stop, please? Thanks. Yeah, my dog's in here again. But steps could be heard at the entrance of the alleyway. Mm -hmm. Interrupting their heartfelt conversation. There you are. Alright, so... Right, a man stepped out of the shadows. He goes by the name of Father Ferris. Or Ty Rapaller, whose name is as well known by the youth as it is by the generation before them. His voice was his claim to fame, but nowadays he lives very well off with his beautiful wife. And up until a few weeks ago, his talented son. Spore, we've been looking everywhere for you. Looking for you. So you're running around with that street rat again. Nice to see you too. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I can explain. So, you think you're all grown up now? Uh, you're such an adult. Then you should have no problem beating me in a rap battle. Huh? Come on, Spore. Show me what you got. Three, two, one, go! Fresh? So yeah, this mod does take some song, normal songs from the original game, and just has like one or two of its own songs. It does lag sometimes, so it's gonna the beat a bit of a problem. It's all the same. And just as good as your old man. It's a real shame that you're putting all that talent to waste. Hey, don't listen to him, Softy. Your mother and I built this perfect life for you so you could become a star. And you want to be, what? A painter? Doesn't that just sound ridiculous? Just listen to me for once. Speak up. I can't hear you. It's my life. Oh, is it now? Uh, yeah, technically it is. I like it is his life. Alright, alright, going on dad battle, let's go. See what you got, Pops. <laughs> also, are you sure you're human? Because what your eyes are starting to glow. Oh crap. Hey, your eyes are glowing a little bit. You sure you're human? Or are you sure you're not a demon?
Let's go. Hmm. You know, it's been a real pain trying to find you these past couple weeks. Let's make a deal, huh? If you can beat me in this next song, we can forget this all ever happened. Huh? Oh, really? Really? Don't trust him, B. Eh? Okay. It's time to finally whip you into shape. Three, oh, you look, look stressed. No cigar? I oh, dang it. did it. I... Yeah. I guess I did. So, um, we're free to go, right? Come on, sport. I never raised an idiot. You didn't actually think I was leaving empty-handed, did you? Oh, that's just creepy. No. Stay away from me. Keep your hands off him. <laughs> well... Is the new purple guy. Pick up. Come on. I know a place where we can hide. Right, that was chapter one. Father Fairs. Like, Softer's own daddy dearest. Harry's in hideout. The moon had risen over the cityscape after the sun went to rest its head for the night. Cloud joined in to keep it company, creating a stormy ruckus to keep it awake. Our protagonists found themselves taking cover in a building which was long overdue for a visit. Or at least, that's what they thought. It was near impossible to see three feet in front of them when there wasn't a strike of lightning leading to brighten up the room, leaving the two on edge. I don't know about this place, Pico. Well, you got a better place to hide? No. But an abandoned mansion? It's scary. It's unsettling. It's... It's... It's a spooky... Yeah, exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth. Right from my mouth, Pico. That wasn't me. Huh? Then who? I missed it. Oh gosh, that is creepy. Relax, it's just a couple of kids. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. What the heck are you two doing here? I'm Skid, and this is Pump. We're doing the spooky thing during the spooky month. You mean this month? Spooky month? It's November. Isn't it a bit late? 
It's October here, Pico. November there. October here. I just let them be. Hey, wait. You look familiar. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah. Your dad is super famous. Also, we've seen your face in posters all over town. Uh, Mama's tapes of Mr. Ferris singing. We watch them all the time. Hey, hey, hey. Can you sing too? Uh, well. Yes. Let's do a rap battle. Probably not the best idea. Please. Oh, Alright, little dudes. You've gotta be kidding me. I wouldn't be friendly funkin' without rapping. Spooky. Painted and skate covered stickers. I just why the why. That's kind of funny. This is like probably the only mod that doesn't have microphone. It's kind of random. Proper timing. <sighs> wow. You guys are way tougher than I thought. That was fun. Let's do another. Uh oh. You want to keep going? Sure. We can even show you the spooky dance this time. Spooky dance? Yeah. It's where you kind of crouch and then you dance. We'll show you. I'm actually not much of a dancer. Well, one more go shouldn't hurt. Uncle Frosty, skid, pump. You've been doing the spooky dance ever since the beginning of week two in the original game. And you showed us already, so yeah. Are you sure about this, babe? You look like you need to sit down. It'll be fine, Pico. They're just kids looking for fun. I don't want to let them down. Yay. Time for a little time to go south.
But when Bell looked up blinking at an eye, everyone disappeared. The boyfriend was alone with the only sound with only the sound of raindrops hitting the creaky roof above him. Except for one other thing. A tall, slender beast stood where the two kids once were. He looked so familiar. Probably because he, his visits were more than common. But it was a lot more than just that. What? No. Not, not you again. You can't. I knew Father Ferris was a demon. Why are you here? Why now? What do you even want? You probably want to stare at us? I don't know why I bother asking anymore. Just leave me alone. Please. I'm tired of this. Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay, what the heck is this thing? I have no idea. It's supposed to be the monster. The song does sound good, I'm not gonna lie. It kind of sounds like Father Ferris a little bit. So I am pretty sure this is Father Ferris. There's like, or maybe it's like Father Ferris that's haunting him. Not the real one, but one that's haunting him every single time. Team, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, what happened? You were responsive. It was him again. Are you okay? Yeah, it's over. At least for now. Wait, where are the kids? Um, I don't know, man. They said something about getting a candy cane. Um, don't worry, though. They got right from someone in a white van. You know, I'm not good with kids. They what? Did I say something wrong? Let's just get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Uh, second thought, maybe we should stay here until morning. For clarification, no spooky boys are harmed in the creature in this chapter. <laughs> I'm guessing we're gonna see get his girlfriend. After what felt like a never-ending night, both people and boyfriend were quite easily the opposite of well-rested. The 
two do not want to overstay their welcome, however, and left the house of horrors, which was actually a lot scarier in the daytime. A lot less scary in the daytime. On foot, they spent the better part of the morning heading across town to a local train station. The last thing they wanted to do was, was stick around long enough to get into even more trouble. Where's that darn train? Alright, so I'll be here soon, I'm sure. You better come quick. I've already been set back twice. And I know. Boyfriend! I haven't seen you in weeks. Hey, girlfriend. What are you doing here? Oh, you know, just out and about. Hey, you know, it'll be fun. I do it, just like old times. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to catch a train. We'll be done before it shows up. I promise, it'll be quick. You know how I feel about promises. Mm. Okay. Son of a. Three, two, one, go! And this one's the full. This isn't a whole new, all new ones. I'm like a champ. We were always a better singer. You know, my parents and I have been worked sick by you. When, when are you gonna come back? I. You, you are coming back, right? I'm not, girlfriend. I'm sorry. <laughs> Enough of this little talk. Maybe this will change your mind. Three, two, Dang. one. It's kind of sweaty. Cody, get out of here. Cody, I'm busy right now, alright? I can put you on later, so go, go. Fine. Colors, it looks kind of cool. 
kind of like soothing or something. Minus boyfriend back in the background. In the train, yeah. Yeah, it's right there. Also, if we're staying until the train comes, then how come there's like been like ten trains come on? So we missed our stop. We missed our train. And there he goes again. that they're working on another chapter for this right now. So. <laughs> Alright, I really should be going now. Wait, tell me something. Why are you so interested in this criminal? Revenal. Can't wait. Please not do this right now. That's supposed to be the two of us since the beginning. We promise. Your parents promise. Why are you doing this to us? It's me. Girlfriend, you don't understand. You remember what we did back in high school, remember? Right? Ugh. He's the whole reason we had to get privately to her. She. There's Lily picking a school shooter over me. Yeah, darn well, that's not what happened that day. Yay! Why do you like in my room, Yoni? It's just weird. Go! Yoni, I'm not petting you. Don't you turn your... Go! 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 Yeah, bye-bye! Hold on. That worked. I didn't even need to get up. But him, you and I could have done. No. Mom and Dad told me so. They would never lie to me. Listen. No, you listen. You'll hire. You're coming home with me, and we're going to live our uh, happily ever after. Together. Three, two, one, go. On. So this is like an alternate. This is basically like some different, you know. It's like if, yeah. Kind of sad.
think we're almost done. It's starting to go. The music's starting to blow down a little bit. Yep. This, but this wasn't how it was meant to go. I'm sorry. The life we they made for us doesn't exist. It's not fair. Why? Why him? I can't help who I love, GF. Yes, can I? How could you do this to me? She don't be like that. We're still best friends. We can still hug things out. Right? A white limo came to a screeching halt in front of him. Uh, softy. Not to interrupt or anything, but we've got a problem. Mother knows best. I'm guessing this is gonna be Mommy Mirrorist. Or Mother Mirrorist. While in the middle of a stressful conversation, our two boys are swept up from the streets faster than light. Startled, they glance in all directions. Yet, they only find the wind in their hair, cars flashing by, and an unwelcome yet beautiful face. Mother Mares. <laughs> Hi, Mom. There's my sweet little baby. I've been uh, so worried about you. I'm okay, I swear. Oh, darling, I know your mom. You know how Mama worries. You've had your fun, but I think it's time to come home, don't you think? Don't you? Oh, I... No. Uh, <laughs> just like, uh, but honey, I need a yes. Oh, you can, oh, great. She, you sure she's not a demon too? Her eyes are glowing. Wait, Pico has a yeah. Pico has his gun right there. I like the demon minions in fact better than these guys. But because they have hair. This yeah. These guys just look weird. I don't know why. They just do. Why is it? It feels like it's a bit cold. It's a bit cold in here. I don't know why. Mm, sweetheart, you see how ridiculous this is, don't you? What do you mean? Well, it's obvious. A particular boy has a, has had his mind tainted by that test. Doing him with all kinds of eyes. You. All I've ever done is love and care for him. That's more than you or your monster of a husband could say. Pico, zip it. There is nothing wrong with our family. I love you so much. Why don't you just come with me? I'm sorry, Mom. I'm not going with you. Mm, fine. Be that way. Okay, here comes this part.
And tried and tried to make you see what a mistake you're making. Clearly, clearly you're too stupid to see that. Stop. You better drop this act and learn to respect your mother. That's, that's it. Or else. Okay, I've had enough of this. Softy, silence, vermin. You can't decide things for me. She's right. What? I have to decide for myself. I have to decide to live the life I want to live. You've always been such a pathetic excuse of a son. Three, two, one, go! Alright, bring it! Oh no, this. No, oh, no, why would I not? Why? Probably four choice. Four choice of work. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get skip Three, it. Two, one, go. Of course, I can't do that. I'm not switching to the mind cam because because uh, I want to stay with. I want to use both mics. Hello? I, I can't skip it. I have to press the space button. Three, two, space one, bar. Go. Let's try again. I go, I thought, never mind. Ow! What? 
I'm not even gonna ask. Okay, what the heck? If we can load the cutscene again. It just like lags every time. I can't even press shift anymore. It broke it. It broke it. I have to press the button. Three, two, one, go. That the hardest one so far. Ah, you selfish little brat. I'm gonna make you regret everything. And can you get a choice in all this? Softy? Huh? Don't. Uh. Hey. I love you. But we are on top of a moving car. Are you crazy? Do you trust me? Hey. Do you trust me? Yes. Then count three. Close your eyes and jump. One. Wait a minute. So, isn't there like a plan B or something that we could try? Three. I wish I could see them jump out. So, we got this one, and we're not doing this one. I. It's all in hard. I have to stand hard to do it. I'm not doing it on hard. Eggnog, Hope, and Genesis. And we got like two new songs in this one. Despite being battered and bruised, Pico and boyfriend find solace under in one another's company. While healing a treacherous month flies by, which they spend tending to wounds, soon the boys feel well and brave enough to face the street once again. Signs of the holiday season litter this scene, with snowflakes dancing in the air, golden bells ringing, and children laughing. A crowd of strangers whispers to one another in excitement, waiting beside a friend of the annual holiday Ferris meet and greet. 
The two boys enjoyed the winter season with smiles, distracted by one another's company. I can't believe you actually make me wear this. Why? Right, you look adorable. I you know. That's the problem. Come on, Tuffy. This is our first time out in about a month. At least try to enjoy it. There they are. Uh, uh, crap. A crowd? Oh no. What day is it? The 17th? Why? Our son! That's why. Just the time for the holidays. We can begin to fear the worst. How about we celebrate, sport? And finally get you home. Three, two, one, go! Okay, why is there a pair of float knives? This is weird. Did as you were told, you wouldn't need to wear that dang sweatshirt all the time. You'd have nothing to hide. You could actually call yourself a man. I be a good son listen to your parents' isn't it? Don't call me your son. You try to make me a mindless slave, just like girlfriend's parents did to her. Shut up, no! Parents are supposed to protect and care about their children. You took away my dreams, my happiness. My trust in others. My childhood. For so long I thought that was lo a love truly was. But in reality, you were never my parents. You never will be. Pico, hit it. You got it, babe. Three, two, oh. one, go. <laughs> Alright, boyfriend, stand up for himself. Let's 
go. Uh, attention, uh, clean up an old Christmas tree. There's a bloody head on top of it. Pico? Oh, great, this guy again. You. Say something for once, dang it. You know, I never really understood what you were. But I know very well who you are. Well, who you're supposed to be. Anyways, things are different now. You don't scare me anymore. They don't scare me anymore. Err. I'm done letting you or anyone take control of my life. This ends now. Alright, let's end this. I didn't notice how creepy it is when there's nothing around. Again with the smoke. I get no miss. No misses. Okay, I don't know why the animation is playing this one, but I've been out there. Dang it, I thought we could make it to no miss. Let's go! Yeah, say bye! Bye bye! Uh, huh? Okay, baby blue? Really? I mean, I can kind of see him. He's kind of cute. It's over. It's finally over. It's a long way from being over, sweetheart. But I think I get what you mean. Where are they? I don't even want to know. Um, anyways. How about we grab some hot chocolate and find a place to rest for the night? Sounds like a plan. Um, I am not doing this because it's gonna be impossible. And I am not doing. I not really. Know. But um, if you guys want to know what, it is, just look it up. All right, I or just play it on yourself. But anyways, this was Friday Funkin, the soft mod, aka my favorite mod. So I like, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Both of you know how to post another video. And I'll see you all soon. Bye!